Good evening, friends, followers, and channel members. Happy Sunday, Iconic Journeys Flight. Oh, what's going on with the weather? <laughs> this is not what I signed up for. Um, normally, well, no. For the last two weeks, we have had cloudless skies, and I mean literally cloudless skies for our Iconic Journey flights on a Sunday evening. Um, this is uh, looking rather grim to uh, tell you the truth now as always we'll always attempt to fly with real live weather but if this looks unflyable for a nice VFR flight then uh, we may have to go back oh wow it's like looking out at the uh, North Sea <laughs> it's awful isn't it fantastic graphics mind but um, yeah that looks a bit grim we will see how we get on so if you've not uh, seen one of our streams before on a Sunday night, this is all about having fun, doing nothing accurately, of course. We're just going to take our aircraft down, VFR flight, we're going to link back up with the I-95, and then we're going to continue heading southbound down to Florida. This is episode 14. If you are new to the series, then that means you're in luck, because there's another 13, series, uh, 13 episodes behind this one, uh, which you can catch up on and uh, enjoy. It's something to watch, and it's just pure entertainment on a Sunday night to finish the week before we all go back to work tomorrow. Now, let's uh, have a look at the map and see... Uh, see what we can expect for our departure. Remember, nothing about this is real ops, completely opposite to how we normally do things on this channel. Uh, this is just all good old fun, and uh, even so, I hope everyone's got a drink in hand. Let's have a look. We are currently at Jekyll Island Airport. We're going to take off on runway 1. Eight, I think, so we'll head southbound to begin with. And we've actually got quite a trek before we link back up to the I-95. So if you can see here, the I-95 is all the way over there. So what I am going to suggest we do, and this is going to be quite fun, particularly with the weather, is we will take off. We will pass the Georgia Sea Turtle Center. We'll come right down to the end here, St. Atrus Picnic uh, Area and Beach, which I'm guessing no one's going to be at today. And then we will cross over and follow the uh, Satila River inbound west, and that should then hook us up with the I-95. Sound like a plan? I hope so. So, let's hop on board. And, uh, and we'll get going. Welcome to everybody who is in the chat and has come along for either the ride or uh, just to uh, just for some Sunday night entertainment, really. Uh, so, hey, Dark, hey, Nils, Connor, Jayhog, Christian, Barry, Jem, sky's the limit. Great to have you here. Nick with the meta. Oh, I don't want to read that. <laughs> Katie's aura on Twitch. Jonathan, uh, 747, Dan, good evening to you guys. Terry and Barry Fox, both channel members, thank you so much for coming on uh, board. Brian and Brett, we're at Jekyll Island, as sky's the limit's just uh, pointed out for you. Uh, Mark says the servers are playing up, people are popping in and out. Yeah, that can happen sometimes. Uh, Base play 58. Which cow pasture is this? Oh no, we're away from the cows now. We're actually going to the area of the country, which normally sees nice weather. Although, um, not um, not today. Nicholas Reese, hello. Um, ignore that route. Nightbot is giving completely false information, so you can <laughs> completely get rid of that. Um, Pilot Adam on Twitch, hey mate, how you doing? You've hosted it on the channel. I hope that's okay. Of course, mate, yeah, absolutely. And uh, thanks for giving us some good uh, ATC as we came into Gatwick the, uh, the other day. Uh, Xbox Journey UK, thanks for watching as well on Twitch, hello. Uh, Dark Fury, you're just watching, you're not in the mood for flying tonight? Oh, no problem, grab a drink, chuck us on the big screen as long as the wife's not watching Coronation Street, and, uh, and enjoy. Let's get uh, in and start her up, shall we? I've said that, and given the amount of people that are currently popping in and out, there is something wrong with the servers because I'm having issues. I'm having a few stutters. Maybe once we get airborne, that will uh, sort itself out. Uh, Mark, the sunshine state. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Barry Fox, I use the Thrustmaster TCA Captain's Pack, uh, which is what I've got. Um... <laughs> Brian Brett, hilarious, my wife has just said. Did he say your name? <laughs> Christian, hi mate, thanks for coming. And Todd, you're joining as well. Right, 
so engines are rocking. Uh, Dark Fury has provided a fix for this uh, rather lovely looking, I now iconic pink radio. Uh, sadly, I didn't get that uh, installed prior to tonight's stream, so we'll sort that. Uh, we'll sort that for next week. Um, a little test round in this wind. Well. Let's aim for the blue sky. That is where we're going. We're headed in that direction to begin with. Uh, Dr. Magic can't join us tonight. Mrs. Left, uh, I'll let you fly enough this weekend. Uh, fair enough. We don't have to fly, Dr. Magic. Now you can teach her what uh, the fun stuff is all about. Right, let's release the parking brake and, uh, and move. The wind might be enough that I don't actually need to uh, add much thrust to this today. <laughs> we might take off stood still. Uh... Monsoon Inita, we are on the North Europe server for if anyone wants to join us tonight. Uh, Sky's Limit, you brought the speed breaker flap yesterday. The missus said, what a waste of 160 quid. How dare she? It's not a waste at all. I hope you educated her. Oh, where are you going? Goodness me. He's still wearing EasyJet on his jacket out here in Florida. I think that's a mistake. Maybe the weather will just be kind of on the cusp of usable. We'll see. If it becomes far too difficult, then of course we'll use a nice, uh, a nice scenic preset, something to look good. Now, obviously, disobeying all taxi speed regulations here. I could just take off on the taxiway. That would be very Harrison Ford of me, wouldn't it? Um, oh, who put a pappy in the way? Move! <laughs> oh, well, now you're only going to get uh, <laughs> three reds and three whites. So this is the runway we did, uh, landed on, wasn't it? I landed on runway 18 last week. Here we go. Always a happy soundtrack as well on a Sunday night. That's what we need. Happy soundtrack, happy weather. I guess we're 50% of the way there. Uh, Christian Ron Runway. I'm not paying attention to Meta as long as I can see. Let's see what happens. Right. Let's go. So the wind's coming from the north. We're just getting some extra push, Christian. That's all. Extra push. Think of it that way. I mean, this runway is plenty long enough for me to get up some decent speed. Okay, and we are airborne. Oh, Christ, that's windy. <laughs> Let's try and clear the treetops at least, shall we? There we go. Look, it is it's sunny over there. I don't know what we're complaining about. Looks like we're going to hear some rain later on. Oh, good lord. I hope you've all got sick bags. You can tell it's windy though, can't you? Look at the, uh, look at the waves down below. Definitely a few stutters in the sim today. Probably brought on by the amount of traffic, but... Uh, We'll see how that goes. The amount of traffic and the weather, of course, when the weather is as bad as it is today. Lots of cloud layers. Right, I'm not so sure I can actually go any higher, otherwise we're not going to see very much. Yeah, this is probably about it. We're going to be very low today. So let's uh, trim our aircraft out at this and see what happens. Really doesn't help when you throw those stutters in as uh, as well. Right, where's that picnic area? <laughs> That's first on my list. So we're just following this across. Here we go. Let me... Uh... There we are. Right, there should be a nice beach actually around here looking at, uh, looking at the map. And then we're going to cross over to this island here and we're just going to follow it down south. Uh, Jonathan, the ground crews did what they could to stop you going up into this. <laughs> yeah, quite true. Probably thinking, what the heck are you doing? Well, that might be the picnic area down here. Which I'm sure on a normal sort of Florida day, 
Uh, looks nice. Are there light shafts coming through the uh, the clouds? Can't say as I've ever seen those before, but that's really nice. Very good. Off into um, the abyss. Really does look uh, foreboding, that, doesn't it? Really foreboding. Uh, Aki says, I've been watching you the last week now, and you're already my favourite YouTuber right now. Very good vids. Oh, okay, thank you so much. Well, if you've been watching for the past week or so, then this is going to be something completely different for you today, as we uh, throw the rule book out the window and uh, basically just enjoy uh, terrorising the southern states of the US. See, I can see the reflection of the sun. I'm sure as we head down south, the uh, the weather will get uh, will get better. At least I live in hope. So the fact that the weather is quite poor means we're really having to sort of concentrate on what we can uh, what we can see. How high are we? We're only about a thousand feet. Yeah, and that's uh, that's definitely enough, isn't it? So I can see a little landmass just here again, just checking on what we're doing. So we're going to follow this landmass inland, and that should hook us up with the I-95 in a little while. Fingers crossed. So I hope everyone has had a great weekend. And has got some uh, some good things planned for the week ahead. We of course have got several live streams planned for the week ahead. Uh, Barry Fox says thanks for that rudder control needed or using the joystick. At the moment, I'm using this side stick for uh, for its rudder control. Really do need to get some uh, paddles. Um, Brian, normally these flights last around about one hour or so, but really we have no idea where we're landing, so it's <laughs> whenever we get to a, a, a suitable airport. I'm not so sure this weather's getting any better. I, I lived in hope when uh, we were headed over there. I, th I thought I saw some blue sky, but... Hmm. Very interesting. Look at the crab angle on that. There's a bit of difference between my heading and track tonight. Uh, Rise of a Music! Hello, my friend. Yeah, long time no see. Hope you're well. How far have we got? We've just left Jekyll Island. In what is some absurd weather. Tell you what, the stream tonight may just be made up of me trying to find the I-95 <laughs> and keeping it on live weather. <laughs> That's I can hear the wind. I don't know if you guys can hear that in the stream, but I can hear the wind. I'm just going to drop a little bit lower. There is the inlet that I want to take that should lead me to the I-95. I wonder how far this weather extends. I don't do things like checking the weather ahead of a stream on a Sunday night. Save that for the real up stuff. I mean, at the moment, we're not really missing anything out, are we, weather-wise? I mean, it's just Greenland mass. There's no settlements or nice scenery to look at. Right, here we go. So we're now tracing up what I believe to be the Satya River, Marsh Islands and Nature Area. Uh, 749, what will I do after the I-95 trip? I honestly have no idea, but it will not be something in America. Okay, yeah, so at this uh, kind of fork in the river, we're going to be going to the uh, going to the left. I 
just want to trim my aircraft out a little bit so I'm not having to continually force the nose down. So we're headed off down uh, down here, loving the graphics of the water. I've said this before, Microsoft Flight Simulator's water effects are fantastic. Uh, Barry, the weather is bad in Europe too. It is, the, the, the weather's just rubbish. Nick says we could follow the Nile. Are there any churches along that, Nick? We have said, of course, we don't just have to follow, I mean, that's a fair shout. We don't have to follow on this series roads. It's just iconic journeys, so things like the uh, the Nile stuff like that even a train line i really do fancy a train line to see how well that's rendered throughout the sim christopher sure the weather looks a bit naff yeah flying it looks awful as well feels awful uh, mark you've had the full lot today where you are wind rain hail sleet snow hail in the sim now that's something don't think that is modelled yet, is it? A little bit of hail. You can see the rain shafts. Quite, look at that. You can see the rain. I have a quick look behind me. Is there just a line of lights? Oh, yeah. Looks like the end scene from Battery is not included. Okay, so there is the I-95. We've met up old friend at last. For anyone that didn't make it, there is the Green Cemetery coming up just down here. <laughs> oh, this aircraft looks a bit low. Are you attempted to fly under that bridge? Antrak, good evening sir, hope you're well. Right, I-95 continues, here we are. Definitely low today. Base player, the I-80, 3,000 miles from Seattle to Boston. Yeah, I mean, these are all good shouts, but remember, the next one will not be in America, just because we will have spent the last, well, I, bet, I don't know what date the first one was broadcast on, but I bet we're approaching sort of uh, 20, 25 weeks ago. Right, so what can we expect today? Probably not very much. Uh, Sky's Limit is looking much bleaker on yours than it is mine. Well, that's interesting. Not sure why. We can't lose sight of this. This is going to be really. This is really hard VFR flying, to be fair. We just need to stick to this road. And there's a few little roads and lanes that sort of... I think they're more farmer's track lanes than there are actual roads. So as we're looking down, the next junction we come to has got a, a travel centre. Uh, what is that? The Circle K Woodbury Travel Centre. Walkabout Camp and RV Park. So many RV parks. Uh, Rise of the Music, you tried flying under a bridge yesterday and saw the cars driving through the water <laughs> rather than on the bridge. Yeah, it's still got some way to go, hasn't it? Uh, Brian Brett, what item am I using for these seasonal graphics? So it is uh, Rex Accu Seasons. Can't fault it. Looks absolutely awesome. Happy to report as well, of course, that uh, when tinkering around in Australia following the update, it was full of lush green trees for this time of year. So um, it uh, does the job really nicely. So if the wind is coming from the north, it's really going to help us get down there nice and briskly today, isn't it? Right, okay, so I can see these couple of pools, ponds, lakes, whatever you want to call them. Um, just come up one on the left. There's that intersection I spoke about a moment ago. Christian, it looks like there's a car chase on the I-95 from here. <laughs> yeah, maybe if we've got helicopters out. Uh, Silicon Freak, thank you so much for subscribing. 
That's a great username, Silicon Freak. Uh, yeah, so the Walkabout Camp and RV Park is... Uh, where are you? Well, you're just, just down there, look. Uh, Christopher, would I say it's worth the purchase? Oh, definitely. Definitely worth the purchase. The East River, which we did have a little bit uh, of a glimpse of when we departed, that's still part of it underneath us now that we can see. Those lakes look rather deep, don't they? And I can you see the uh, my home airport is uh, Manchester. Yeah, it's, that's my closest international airport. I'm probably a tad closer to Doncaster, to be honest. For which we had the Antonov 124 visit the other day. That was quite nice. Okay, so we've got a little bit of a major city coming up in uh, in a moment. Um, or oh, a settlement. I'm not actually sure what it's called, to be fair. Google Maps hasn't given me that information, but it's coming up. Uh, we've got some restaurants, uh, home improvement stores, another Pilots Travel Centre. Oh no, it's not Pilots, it's Pito Travel Centre. Goodness me, what's going on with those stutters? Look, it's brightening up over there. Right, here we go. So then, flying far too low to be legal. Um, but it's a dull, dull day for the residents down here. Such a small little settlement overall, but it's got one of the country's major highways literally dissecting it. Good quality scenery as well, just to say it's a small, uh, small little town area. Now, interestingly enough, we've got another junction coming up in just a moment. And for some reason, all around it is just brown, or what looks to be like brown, uh, brown sand. Let's see what that looks like as we approach in a minute or so. And then we are going to cross the state line. This is a uh, an important moment, guys, as we're going to soon make it into Florida. What is that? Wow. That's interesting. So here it is, guys. We're crossing the straight line here. It comes with the uh, the river, the St. Mary's River. After weeks and weeks, welcome to Florida, <laughs> the Sunshine State. Might just be able to gain a tad more altitude. Not much, not much. But that's it now. Our final state across this journey. It has been fantastic. I've really enjoyed this. But as we now ended in Florida, remember we started all the way up in Maine. So we've crossed Maine, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut, New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Delaware, Maryland, District of Columbia, Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, and now finally Florida. And look, I see white fluffy cumulus clouds as opposed to the horrible nimbus stratus things. Christopher, you already feel warmer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It is. Everybody is already warmer. I can I can feel sun. The official Florida Welcome Center is down here. Do you know what? I'm really I was so close to coming off live weather, but having endured that, I'm really glad we didn't. I'll tell you why. It's because we set off in the dull, grey, murky, rainy weather 
And as we're entering Florida, I've got the sun shining on my aircraft. I bet there's a shadow down there. Yeah, look. There's my aircraft shadow. It feels like we've literally made it into a brighter, sunny state. Then again, I may have just spoken too soon. The MB way station that we're passing. So, so many trees around here. Very good for the environment. Uh, so Nicholas, you started with some delay behind us. What's our airspeed trying to catch up? Oh, slow. Um, I don't know. I don't know if the top banner is working, but we're about 110 knots. Uh, Jonathan, that's often what it's like in real life. No kidding. So, a little town or village coming up at the next junction, I believe, is it called Wild Light? Wild Light, interesting. Rise of the Music says Florida is a beautiful place as long as you don't encounter any of the people that live there. Oh, that's harsh, Rise of surely. Don't tarnish everyone with the same brush. So here it is over there, that's uh, Wild Light. Uh, Brian, as we're in Florida, we should try and find uh, Disneyland. If the I-95 goes past it, then of course, but to be fair, once we get to Florida, we are going to do a little bit of sightseeing. It would be wrong not to go all that way down and not do some sightseeing. Wow, there's some uh, quarry, uh, or what looks to be like a quarry built out there, isn't it? Uh, Christian says, good thing with the tailwind, we're covering a lot more ground. That is true. You can notice we are flying a lot faster than normal. Uh, for those wanting to join next, thanks, Nick. Kilo, Juliet, Alpha, X-Ray is the next airport. Is that Jacksonville by any chance? I'm just guessing that. Wally says, you live here. Where? In Wild Light? Hope you guys aren't minding the real weather, by the way. Maybe it just adds something different to the stream from the last couple of weeks where it has been just perfect weather. name of this river there, but uh, sadly couldn't find one. Uh, Christian says, every bit of funny news from the USA starts with a Florida man. <laughs> well, you know, right. <laughs> uh, Wally, uh, uh, Sebastian. 60 miles south of Melbourne. Am I in the right country? So guys, if you just joined us, welcome on uh, board our live Sunday night fun flight, iconic journeys. The 14th episode of our trek down south of the I-95. Right, Love's Travel Stop is coming up. Do you know, I had to Google what that was the first time I saw those following this stream because knowing that the USA was awash with seedy motels, I thought that was just something completely different. Turns out I was pleasantly surprised. So Jacksonville International Airport is somewhere over here. Coming up. Oh, come on, son. 
breakthrough. I'm loving that. You can just see the sub coming through a little bit. Pecan Park Flea and Farmer's Market is what we're currently flying over. Uh, Sebastian Airport is just out your back door. <laughs> Stopping for a beer and I'll buy. Sounds good. Uh, Sky's Limit, don't worry about getting in my way. The thing uh, that happens is uh, obviously a multiplayer. You just fade into the distance. Sea Breeze, is that the name of this place? Oh, lovely looking aircraft. What's that? I like that. Beautiful livery as well. Really neat. Right, so we're now coming up on a nicely built up area as we uh, start to see Jacksonville in all its glory. And I'm going to bet that there's some pretty good clean scenery down here as well. Yeah, look at this. You can even see the air conditioning units on the top of buildings. So, Walmart Supercenter down there. Really looking, really liking the modelling of, uh, of that. And as we head on through, we cross paths with the Interstate 295. That's coming up here, crossing east to west. And then I've got some major massive crop circles here on the left as we come into Turtle Creek. The weather's just a bit naff. We can't quite see those. But here they are. If you can see them, these massive crop circles. Shame the weather's a bit pants. In fact, the weather has just got very misty, is not it? Very, uh, very misty. Don't lose sight of that I-95, because that's going to be very easy to uh, to miss. Right, there's another junction coming up. There's a Dunkin' Donuts and a McDonald's. Oh, a mains and dessert. And here it is. Uh, Cristiano got the mist just kicked in. It did, which is a shame. I mean, look at the detail down here. It's absolutely stunning. I could go to live weather. I really could. Look at that. <laughs> They're like big mushrooms. Florida, of course, will be one of the areas that um, Microsoft and Azobo will really have got good, uh, good scenery for. So the Trout River is coming up. So much good stuff down here. I'm so tempted to clear the uh, clear the fog. Just because I fear we may be missing out on some uh, amazing stuff. Christian, how about we fly over the clouds? No! I won't have a clue where the road is. Oh, these stutters do mate tonight. Not quite sure what's happening there. I don't know if anyone else is getting those or if it's just me. Uh, Carter Seely says uh, those are because of the water rings system. Uh, water comes out of the centre like a giant sprinkler. Oh, okay. Got it. Wow, now for anyone that is following this route on Google Maps, you will see that the satellite imagery here has completely changed. It now looks very lush and green. Have to be a bit aggressive with the bank. This is the most I've seen the I-95 uh, curve around. It's been nice and straight for the majority of the time. Jonathan will be passing over the Kachak Golf Resort soon. Oh, be sure to give us a shout when that's coming. Right, so now here we are. This is Jacksonville City Centre we're headed towards now. Oh, look, the circus is in town. Do you know what? I, I'm going to have to do this. 
I am going to clear the weather because there is so much good stuff here that we're just... Oh, man, look at that. Let's just put a few scatter clouds around. I've had to do that because how... Look at all the stuff we're missing out on. Wow. The clarity of it all. And the tennis court, swimming pool, Jacksonville, downtown. I mean, this is something else. This is where uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator really does come into its own. And for anyone that's doing this in VR, then, wow. You must have the sense that you are indeed there. Uh, yes, I am using Rex Accu Seasons, that is exactly correct. I am absolutely loving the scenery here. I'd love to have carried on. Now, hang on a minute. Hang on, what's going on here? Where don't we want to go? Right, the I-95 crosses over. I nearly went the wrong way. I-95 goes this way. I-10 goes the other. Oh, man, look at this. This Do you know what? I'm going to do a loop around the city. Let's break off, guys. We, sk we know where the I-95 is now. It's, uh, it's just there. Let's have a look. Lewis Aviation, hello, my friend. Happy Sunday. Celebrating 10 months of membership. Oh, wow. Thanks so much, Lewis, for your continued uh, support. We are now just admiring the beauty of the Jacksonville scenery. Default scenery, I must always add. This is default, guys. And this is just simply beautiful. <laughs> Sky's the limit. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I bet you've taken, uh, taken the wrong route, haven't you? <laughs> Oh, this is just something else. No simulator, no simulator ever has come anywhere close to replicating this. I feel like I, I could look down hard enough and see people walking in the streets, it's that good. This is awesome. Wells Fargo, is that Citibank just there? Brilliant. Uh, Dr. Magic celebrates 10 months of membership as well. Says, I'll join you in, uh, in the celebrations. Oh, fantastic. Thank you so much, guys, for your continued support over your last 10 months. It really does mean the world to me. As it does every one of the, uh, the channel members. It really does help make uh, the time I put into the content possible. Uh, Sky's Limit, you've just taken off live weather. What a difference. Oh, yeah. Simply stunning, isn't it? I've really enjoyed that loop. And look at the construction site as well, just here. It's the fact that you can see the road markings, the chevrons, anything like that. Look at that. You've got the arrows on the road. I mean, the detail. Absolutely insane detail. And we're coming back on the I-95 now. So here it is. Hi, 95, and we've got the Wolfson Children's Hospital just down here on the left. Uh, Island Control, is this Google instead of Bing? No, absolutely not. This is 100% default Bing. And then we've got the South Bank, Jacksonville Riverwalk. This is beautiful. Oh my word, that looks like one heck of a... <laughs> that looks like a spaghetti line of uh, roads. I wouldn't fancy driving that, to be fair. Uh, Mark celebrating five months of membership, says I can do half of that. Oh, thank you so much, Mark. Really do appreciate every single one of you members. And of course, remember that the mid-tier and uh, top-tier members currently have access to the beta version of the performance calculator which we're hoping to get out in the next uh, next month or so. 
Uh, Jeff says it's your home time. You live in Colorado now, but it's a pretty good representation. It's, well, I would say, I, not that I know it, but I'd say it's fantastic. Right. So we have got a gym down there, the Edge Rock Gym. We've also got McDonald's. Uh, and we're back to following the I-95 through what is now a very residential area and the uh, the region of Englewood, I believe it is. Here's Englewood. Loving the little, I don't know, is it a dog track or... <laughs> um, Sports field. Oh, it's got to be some sports, sports field. Look, you've got a tennis court there and, uh, and pool. Uh, Jonathan, that particular tangle of ramps does confuse tourists. Yeah, I can completely understand why. University Christian School down here. There's just so much to pick out, isn't there? I mean, the red building there, I don't know what that is. It really is stunning, this. Next intersection coming up. South Point, I believe the area is now called. Just admiring the city's beauty. Uh, Jonathan, St. Augustine is the oldest city in the US. Yeah, I know that. And the only reason I know that is because for... Um, oh, where were... I been for Independence Day last year. We, recent, we, we did a flight, which didn't seem too long ago. Uh, oh, no, it was... G, uh, it was... Um, what do you call it? Thanksgiving. Yeah, Thanksgiving Day. We flew there. It's a special one-off stream. Uh, Christian, we should have turned this into a drinking game. Every, have a drink every time you see a baseball field. Wow, that doesn't sound like safe piloting. I haven't seen any churches yet. Nick must still be sober. Office Depot. Brett, now drink every time we see a tree. <laughs> oh, Lord. Ooh, there's an urban air trampoline and adventure park coming up on our left somewhere, just uh, with the next, next intersection. Uh, Frank WG says, uh, good evening, good evening to you Frank. Uh, unable to join us tonight, just finishing off the second install of Flights in this week. Oh, that sounds painful. Paradise Island Apartments. Down here somewhere. Paradise Island, that always sounds like a, a gimmick rather than an accurate description. Christian, you wonder if Florida has alligator fauna in the sim. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let someone else check that out. Right, there's the Interstate 295 again coming up. You can just see that, of course, uh, is the ring road that uh, we spoke about a little while ago. Um, avenues down here, the Avenues Mall. Uh, sky's the limit, oh dear, I'm feeling rough today. That you and the other partners went out for a, uh, a drink last night. You paid $141 for a steak and two glasses of red wine. Prices now are now... Uh, that, that is bad. Goodness me. Christopher, how much? The Yorkshire war cry. So much detail still coming through in the sim.
lot of the area now looks more to be a little less residential and coming up to some um, other industrial estates. Hello, what's that? That looks interesting. It was... Um, well, actually, it doesn't actually say on Google Maps what it was, but it is there. I can see it on Google Maps, so of course it uh, is there in the real uh, in the real world. Jonathan, the young adventure folks down on the I ninety five has is they can stop for a smoothie at Smoothie King. Still, really crisp clean scenery all the way down. Uh, Cut silly, do I use the wheel of VFR mod? No, not at all. Okay, so the iron 5 continues straight as it intersects Route 98. Jonathan, you'd be a way better tour guide now if you weren't so drunk. It's Sunday night, that's what that's all about. <laughs> Probably a much more entertaining tour guide now that you are having a drink. What we've got just uh, just here. Oh, Beacon Fisheries. Down there. Hey, Brian Dyer, hello. I wonder what live weather's doing. Is it still awful? Should we chuck it on and see what's happening? Let's pop live weather back on. Ugh! No, okay. Let's go back to uh, some... few clouds and uh, prettier skies. Look at this sort of rocky landscape down here. Not quite sure what that's meant to be depicting. Oh, it's Durbin Creek, apparently. Whatever that is. And uh, a rest area. <laughs> Funnily enough, on Google Maps, as I'm just looking just west of the rest area, um, there is a big puff of smoke <laughs> coming up from over here on Google Maps. Not, not quite sure uh, that's made it into Bing Maps, but there you are. So here at this, uh, just look at the quality of that rock face, they're looking, uh, looking nice. Uh, a little place called Sampson, I think, is, uh, is next. And a restaurant called Grumpy's. I bet so many fathers get taken there for Father's Day. Uh, Nicholas, did I uh, notice that uh, the fiber wire has got uh, holes? Yeah, absolutely. Stay tuned. <laughs> uh, just play at the Axe Naval Air Station is nearby, but you probably can't land there. There are a few um, airports in the sim that you can't select uh, to depart and land on, but they are there. Jose Rivia, this is not Google Maps, this is default Bing Maps. Barry Fox, evening from County Durham. For sure, weather been pants today up there as well. I'm not pandering this Vatsim. Oh, God, no. Oh, <laughs> could you imagine if this was Vatsim? <laughs> We'd be booted off. Uh, Brian, you fell asleep on the uh, couch, misfiring up the sim and joining the flight. Sunday afternoon naps are great. Can't fault you there. Isaac, hello! Oh wow, there's a change in. Uh, right, we've gone some. There's the photogrammetry ending to uh, default. <laughs> a lot, lot greener. And the I 95 just cuts a nice channel through the woods.
Meadow Ridge Dreamfinder's home. Do we believe them? There's a nice golf, nice looking golf course coming up shortly. The World Golf Village. World Golf Village? Fair enough. I am so glad in the end that we did come off the uh, live weather. So much to admire. Here it is. World Golf Village. Look at that. Literally a golf course on your backyard. Very neat. Uh, Brian, but that's now what I call a straight road. Yeah, the Romans could have built that one, couldn't they? Uh, Domus, yeah, Cape Canaveral won't be far away. Uh, I think today you had my long haul seven hour, I had to wait ten minutes to Frank for for a triple seven to get moving. Could you not plow straight through them? Or did you mean in real life? <laughs> you might mean in real life there. In which case, yeah, don't try and plow straight through them. Uh, Anna Panda, I've ever been on the uh, on a tour to Yorkshire. Oh mate, I live there. I don't want to tour it as well. I don't want to tour it in the sim. I can do that in the real world. Uh, Tyler, something you'd like to see them add along with fixing the spoken menus is descriptions of the scenery you're flying over. There could be some very comedic uh, <laughs> descriptions of some scenery. Uh, Jonathan, the World Golf Village is right next to Murray Brothers Caddyshack. I did see that on Google Maps, actually. That is listed, of course. Christopher the circle around Huddersfield would be, would be awesome. A stop off for a Ruby Murray on the way. trying to have a look now where we are exactly just because I've uh, lost my bearings momentarily from uh, from Google Maps oh no I think uh, I know where we are now just check is there some water there yeah there is okay know where we are I jumped ahead of myself on my maps on my second screen thinking I don't recognise anything here, but uh, now we're back. Uh, Barry, you don't want a tour to Yorkshire if the weather's been like it has been today. Oh, trying to dog, uh, dodge the rain showers to take first office of Georgia, that's what today's been all about. Uh, Hi Zinth, this is default thing. So I wonder how far we can see. Uh, sky's the limit, you did a time lapse of the approach into LAX yesterday, but you dropped your phone at about 500 feet. <laughs> I bet it looked blooming good up until that point. Uh, Jonathan, the i splits off towards Orlando and Disney soon.
Hey Wayne, welcome to the uh, welcome to the chat. Catford Sewage Works beats anywhere in France. Your affinity for Catford Sewage Works, um, Wayne, is remarkable. So again, I've just been reading the chat. No idea where we are. I'm looking for the next big intersection, which uh, meets up with Route 207, I think it is. Unless I've, I've missed that already. Oh no, I know where we are. Yep, okay. Beaver Toyota. Where's that? Oh, that might not be built here in the uh, maps. It looks like a bit of a uh, building site on Google Maps. I think it's just here. Yeah, so I don't think that's... Uh, oh, no, no, it's not. It's just, yeah, it is built. It's just a little bit further on. The Orthodox Christian Mission Centre. There you go, Nick. Now you can have a drink. Is Nick still here? Yeah, he was on the ground. I'm sure he was. I've not seen him in the chat. Uh, Tyler, one thing I thought was weird about the audio in the sim is you can hear birds and other animals, but no humans. And the ATC uh, text to speak is like you're flying in a world with no human life. Well, you know, we all come here to get away from the real world, so that's probably not a bad thing. What on earth is that? Strange. We are entering the land of golf courses, aren't we? We can see another one down here. That, I they believe, is St. John's Golf Club. Uh, Jonathan, the next city of significance is Daytona Beach. Thank you. However, I believe we're going to be aiming for another small airfield pretty soon, where we shall finish our flight for today. I'm thinking this is going to be our next right, which will take us to a grass strip called Hudson Airfield. If anyone wants to check that out. Now be careful, because there are two. Don't go to the one that's closed. So I've just gained a bit of altitude here, which is quite neat, because I can now see everyone firing beneath us. So what you need to do, if you're following on Google Maps, at the next junction, by this, uh, the, the great landmark is this square patch of water. Then... There's a truck sale shop. Everyone needs to bear right at this intersection. Bear right, 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 right. With Route 206. Bearing right and down there, that road will lead you to the Hudson Airfield. Which is over here somewhere. <laughs> Everyone making a last ditch turn. <laughs> it looks like a host of seagulls. <laughs> Now, it's going to be interesting to try and spot this, because it is just a piece of grass. Again, we've done this before, though, so we're pros at this now. So now we're just following this road. I'm going to be looking for... Strip. 747 Dan, where did all the clouds go? <laughs> we uh, we cleared them, mate. There was just too much good scenery that we were missing out on. Uh, 
tell you what, if I put real world weather on and then tried to find this grass strip that we're going to land in, that, uh, <laughs> that, that would be interesting. This really is just a very minor, what well, looks like a very minor road. So the airfield strip, you can just see a bend in the road coming up just here as it bends slightly to the right. It's a little further down after that. Migs, hello sir, hope you're well. Follow that truck. God, this airfield better be here now. Uh, Wayne, yes, we are on Europe North. Right, Hudson Airfield, where are you? There is a settlement to the left and a water lake to the right, if that helps. Makes you finally caught one of these live streams. Excellent. Uh, oh, what's... No, no, that's a road. Don't land on that. <laughs> Chances are afterwards I get hit by a train. Barry, you found it, have you? Good shout. Oh, right, I think I can see the lake. And, oh, is this it? This could be it. There it is. Grass strip. There's your runway, guys. Right there. Lovely. So, enjoy the landings on another grass strip. I think the last time I landed in a grass strip, I didn't really prepare properly. I ended up crashing into someone's front living room. So there is the grass strip that we're all going to uh, hopefully land at. Doesn't really matter which way we're going to come in. I would say I would come in this way if you are going to uh, go with the prevailing winds. So from landing from the south, fly northbound to land. So what runway would that be? I'm guessing, let's call it runway 36 just for ease. Is that a road at the end of it? Or a... Wouldn't be the uh, first airfield to have a road or a, uh, a public footpath crossing it. Uh, Sky's Limit 95, what is live weather like? <laughs> if I put that on. Um, oh, that could be interesting. Go on then. I'm game. Yeah, live weather's not so bad now. It, really, it has actually cleared, hasn't it, compared to normal. Uh, Katie Zora, I don't think there's anything wrong with the stream. I know you're watching on Twitch, however, as opposed to uh, YouTube. So I'm just going to do another circle, then I'll bring her into land. But Wally, this is so enjoyable. <laughs> it's, it's the Sunday night fun. I'm also just looking at the way the water was blowing in that uh, pond down there. So yeah, runway 36, if it is indeed 36, that's going to be our option. <laughs> Mix <laughs> says power uh, Papa Charlie Romeo 199 clear for landing you off 36th in line. <laughs> right, I'm going to start reducing a bit of power and uh, some sp Oh my word, how many people are flying tonight? That's epic. <laughs> that is insane. <laughs> that is just brilliant. Oh, look at that. Landing that way and everyone taxiing back down the road. <laughs> awesome stuff. Right. Let me see if I... Oops. Let go of the side stick there. Keep forgetting. It's not an Airbus. Fly-by-wire technology doesn't exist here.
Aki, you've just realised that my livery has EasyJet on it. Indeed it does. Indeed it does. This is a bit bumpy. No pappers at this airfield, just clear the trees and then drop. Sorry for whoever I'm about to fly into here. Watch the gear on those trees. Live weather is rather windy. Hold a steady, and let's touch down. Nice. Right, there's still about another five aircraft behind me. Let me get off the runway. Beautiful. Guys, <laughs> I flew through you. <laughs> nice. Oh, we're down. I, do you know? I bet the sun's going to come out now. Oh, I do wonder as we get closer and closer to the end of this uh, epic journey, how many more grass strips we're going to end up in? I think this is probably only about the third or fourth. So it's, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's nice to be able to do one. The fun bit is next week, when we restart from here, trying to find the grass strip on the uh, flight planning page to be, <laughs> to be able to spawn back in. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's the, uh, that, that'll be the interesting bit. And, of course, just sat here looking and watching everybody else come in and then... Uh, uh, grass strips are always fun, and I don't get to do them usually in the sim because, uh, well, the Airbus doesn't take kindly to uh, grass uh, <laughs> grass strips. Um, Peter Scarab, Peter, oh wow, Peter, thank you so much for uh, another one of your very kind super chats. Uh, say late to the party, but enjoyable as always. Oh, Peter, you're you're so so kind, and really do appreciate that. It's um, very very generous of you, Peter. But uh, hopefully you didn't miss too much. And of course, next week, hoping to be back. Oh, actually, no, next week. There will not be one next week. I'm away all Sunday next week, so there will not be a live um, Iconic Journeys flight. So we're going to have a two-week break. A two-week break when oh, this should uh, continue. In fact, you know what? As I'm saying this, I'm not even sure I'm available the following Sunday. I'm going to quickly get my... Um, Get my diary out. Let's see how we're doing here. Um, oh no! Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is really bad. So, February and March time is a really, really busy time for me at weekends uh, for various one reasons or another. And I'm looking now. We may have to postpone this for the next ooh, one, two, three. It may be four weeks, guys. In fact, it could be four weeks today. Today's the 6th of Feb. It could be the 6th of March <laughs> until our next Sunday Night Live, which I'm so, so sorry that it's going to be so long. But, um, you know, I know you'll all be here in, uh, in four weeks' time. What it does mean, though, is you don't have to hang around to see if we're streaming or not next week, the week after, or the week after that, because I can guarantee you, we shall not be. So, my big apologies for that, but pop that date in your diary. It will be the 6th of March that we are uh, that we are back for this. Of course, that is just the live, um, that is just the I-95 Icon journeys. We're back through the week, through the weekdays. We'll be on as normal with the uh, the usual flights and maybe some uh, some specials as we uh, as we go on tour. So, to those of you who have flown with us today, really hope you've enjoyed that. This has been one of the, probably the biggest parties of uh, aircraft we've had during our live streams. So, uh, thank you so much for uh, for that. And uh, of course, to those who have donated and contributed to the um, channel's upkeep during the uh, stream today. 
thank you so so much and of course these jets in pilot channel members remember those mid-tier members and those uh, high level members you still got access to the beta version of the a320 neo performance calculator as well new features have since been added in as well so you can now uh, use intersection departures um, so you can manually enter the uh, runway length that you want to uh, that you want to use which um, which is quite neat so uh, yeah do uh, do go ahead and get that that is pinned in uh, in the vip chat room on our discord server make sure you get the latest version it should download and update automatically um, automatically once you've uh, installed the uh, installed the program so uh, yeah do uh, do go ahead and get that um i don't know why i've got miami in there let's uh, we'll get the met off of miami if we'd have made it all the way down uh oh yeah it's still having some issues sometimes reading the american um, American metals, but if you just press continue, it continues to work. Uh, oh, look at that! The winds were light and variable down in uh, in Miami, uh, which would have been nice. Let's give it a nice heavy aircraft. Um, oh, for those of you that haven't seen this before, quickest demonstration in the world. Ah, oh, there you are, lovely. Uh, Flex 47, yeah, that would make sense. Uh, not the longest runway and uh, very, very heavy weight. High green dot as well. So go ahead and uh, check that out in the, in the Discord server uh, for the uh, for the VIP P members. Uh, Nick, so intersections can be worked out. Oh yeah, of course. Oh, go on. Let me quickly show you. Let me quickly show you. Um, so, for instance, if you were Nick, I know you love flying from Heathrow. So. If I go ahead and um, load in Heathrow Airport, uh, 27, let's call it 27 left. Get a meta for that. Anti ice. Let's leave it at 78. Uh, Takeoff will be uh, CFG normal. Flex, config one, packs off. Right, okay. Let me quickly grab the uh, charts for Heathrow. Echo Golf Lima Lima. Um, use on the taxi page. You want dun 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 airport takeoff minimum. Okay, so runway two seven right. So from the runway head, but quite often, if we have a look at the airport list, they will have you taken off at November three, sometimes. So then, what you would need to do is airport info takeoff minimums. Have a look for November three on two seven. Sorry, two seven left. November three. Yeah. So there you go. It's three two two four instead of full length. So let's go ahead and enter that in. So uh, three. Oh, three two two four. So it's now an intersection departure and calculate that. There you go. That's calculated using the intersection departure. Look, it's also changed as well. Three two two four. So they absolutely are uh, are worked out if you want to do uh, do that that way. So that's really neat. Okay, guys, thank you so much for uh, flying alongside us today. Hope you've uh, enjoyed that. I will be back for our iconic journeys a month today. Sorry, I'm going to be busy, but I look forward to seeing you on the next live stream very soon as we're doing more wheel ops during the week as per usual don't forget to hit the like button and of course please don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are uh, brand new to uh, to the channel thanks very much guys for watching i look forward to seeing you all again very soon good night